Hey guys, it's Chris Wiley, the Game Changer here. We're doing full QEEG brain mapping today. Have some real awesome, interesting people with some crazy awesome life stories of determination of breaking through and full out wanting to optimize their brain and health. So I'm here with my man, Dougie. Now, Dougie, um, Dougie's going to tell us a little bit more on why he's in here to map his brain, a little bit about his story and uh, where he's going to go. So it's a real exciting journey Dougie's on. So, Dougie. Tell us why you're in here for the brain mapping and tell us what you're uh, excited to do moving forward. What's going on guys? I'm Douglas aka Dougie. Uh, I'm here because uh, I heard about the wonderful work of this man, what he's doing in regards to the brain. Uh, my background is health and science, health and fitness and uh, I want to get back into uh, competing in, into fitness shows, getting back into other things uh, that, were, uh, that were my passion. Um, but I know that it's not just about yeah. feeding the, um, the body, it's also feeding the brain. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've had a history of head injury uh, about, uh, about four years ago, uh, leaving my school campus and uh, wrong place, wrong time, got, uh, got jumped by a bunch of guys and uh, it left me uh, pretty beaten pretty bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, which led me to being epileptic for a while uh, and have multiple seizures, which ended up turning up to some of the products they were giving me. The meds actually cause the seizures. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the thing, I had uh, inflammation and swelling in the brain. Yeah. And um, you know, I've lately I've been having a lot of problems with mm -hmm. um, attention, memory, um, and uh, most importantly, like I wouldn't say memory loss, but yeah, remain or like, remembering certain things that uh, I don't remember. And then I, you know, a few days later, I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. So I'm having a lot of registering, I guess, firing up, and uh, I feel like I'm brain short, short circuiting, short circuiting the brain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, why don't you just quickly tell us on, on what you're doing now? That's so exciting uh, in terms of the transformation and how you're going to be able to share with people your story uh, on your new TV series. Yeah. So I got uh, very unfortunate enough to be on a series called RBT, which is Radical Body Transformation. And uh, it's a series of documented individuals that have been through uh, some health issues, been bullied, been obese, uh, you know, have had issues in their lives and they yeah. want to transform their body. Yeah. Um, so it is a journey yeah. in, the, in regards to, you know, nutrition, the training. Some people are actually competing in fitness shows like I am. Yeah. Some are just doing a complete transformation. Yeah. So it's following their journey and uh, in hopes to inspire, nice. motivate and, and most of all, educate individuals. Perfect. Um, well, you're going to get the RBBT, uh, <laughs> brain body, you know, yeah. transformation. So, uh, one of the biggest things here is, um, based on your, your past, Dougie, the concussions, the, the seizures is, is seeing exactly where your brain is at. Yeah. Um, especially if you're going to get back into competing, I know you wanted to get back into boxing and stuff. A, we want to make sure that your brain's in a safe place where that's even, you know, a possibility. And then B, we want to see what are the kind of the mechanics of your brain as a result of everything. And then we want to begin optimizing it with, with brain training, uh, with different nootropics and nutraceuticals. And part of the brain mapping process is we do the initial baseline. And then we'll, we'll do some intervention. In fact, uh, Dougie's tried a, a mastermind formula designed by an Olympic athlete, Apollo Ono. Yes. Uh, with a whole bunch of, of great nootropics. So... He just took it now, and we uh, we just mapped his brain before this. I'm going to show you the brain map in a second, and then 20 minutes later, once those nootropics take effect, we're going to do a post mapping of the brain to see whether this nootropic is appropriate for Dougie. So we're going to get really specific in terms of optimizing his brain, from nootropics to actual brain training based on his brain map, to then some uh, pretty awesome qigong, tai chi exercises, workouts where we're just full out pushing the brain and body to max. Now, quickly here, we're going to take a look at Dougie's brain. So what we see on the, uh, on the left there is Dougie's brain with eyes open. And on the right, we see Dougie's brain with eyes closed. So what we'll see here is these top graphs is, is this is Dougie's brain compared to a normative database. So people with his same sex, age, characteristics, um, how does his brain measure up? And at the top here, we have all the different frequencies, power bands. Um, the brain's like a battery and produces different amounts of frequencies, which are associated with different functions. So first we have delta, which is really brain waves, which are slow and facilitate deep sleep, rejuvenation, regeneration. 
Then we have theta, which is kind of daydreaming, reverie, like just before you, you know, go to go to bed, get up in the morning, or when you're daydreaming, spacing out. Theta is really important for emotional processing and memory. Then we have alpha, these alpha frequencies here. Alpha is kind of like the baseline idling of the brain, the gear shifting frequency associated with relaxation and focus. Um, brains that produce a lot of alpha are highly synchronized, coherent, clear, so that you're, you're well focused, but you're well balanced. And then beta is frequency associated with uh, information processing attention. Um, um, like when you're working on a math problem, working on a business problem, writing an email, your brain will produce a lot of beta. So it's really important for attention. Then higher beta here. This is associated with, A, either extreme excitement, but also anxiety and, and higher emotions, more intense emotions. So uh, what we see here on the top graph is we see a little bit of blue in Dougie's brain, which is just a sign that Dougie's brain is a little bit underactive. So the, uh, the juice, the voltage of Dougie's brain has declined, and this can be a, a large product of the stress-induced decline in, in brain cell function. So after the traumas, the concussions, then the seizures, there's this flooding of inflammatory, excitatory chemicals in the brain, and then eventually it can just, uh, just cause brain cells to either kind of fry themselves out, or some brain regions will just uh, turn off. So we'll really look to basically turn on those regions which are calmed down and facilitate you know new brain cell growth neurogenesis to really increase the voltage of your brain then the only main thing here that really jumps out here is this inflammatory overactivity in higher beta and we see in the right frontal lobes and that can make Dougie more susceptible to uh, negative emotions impulsivity strong emotional tones so, uh, yeah, if things upset you or you get going and you get in like a high state of anxiety or excitement, you could find yourself getting really fired up and really emotionally moved in either, you know, a good way or if it's overactive, usually for most people in a bad way. And I know you're commenting on yeah. some experiences like that. Then the other thing to look at here is uh, coherence. Coherence is a measure of the connectivity between the brain. Now we see here, uh, we see very few lines. If you see a lot of red lines, that would be hyperconnectivity. So brain regions, they're on the phone and they just can't hang up. Blue lines, like right here, mean under, under communication. So the line is getting dropped uh, mid-conversation. And what we see here, the one important thing for Dougie's brain, is you see the overactivation of the right frontal lobe, but then there's a disarticulation of it, meaning there's not connecting, which is why when these regions get fired up, you get excited, you get you know emotionally charged, you're probably not having a good grips on the emotions because those regions can't connect and, and, and form coherence. So that's really the main thing. So for Dougie's brain, uh, we really want to just raise this voltage here, balance these frontal lobes, and uh, as we saw from some other metrics, you have a pretty well high-performing brain. Um, given all the concussions, all the, you know, the seizures and traumas, your brain is really resilient. And, and that's a real promising thing for you and a real so, you know, sign of most high-performing brains is resilience. So, you know, with some brain training, some nutraceuticals, uh, we can really raise this voltage up and get your brain um, really, really in full high-performance mode. So, uh, Dougie just took this uh, mastermind formula and then we're going to remap his brain here in, in 15 minutes to see uh, whether we're on the right track. Yeah, I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see the uh, the, the difference. Um, so, uh, yeah, stay tuned.